think the more we can get out of our heads, out of our minds, out of our same thinking, you know, this, if you let this weekend be a pattern interrupt for you, everything glorious, everything glorious is going to come to you. And you know why? Because your vibe is going to be so high. Hey, my sweet, how are you? Happy pre-Thanksgiving. Oh, I just want to start with letting you know and sharing from my heart how grateful I am for you. For you always being there, being on the journey, being on your own journey, being on the journey with me, showing up for life, like being the unique, awesome version of you that only you are, and just please know what a difference you make in my life as well. It is um, just so special to uh, what we have going on. You know, not everyone's in this conversation out there, and not everyone thinks big and has the same dreams, but is also kind of sensitive along the journey and the path and is prioritizing the spiritual and the feminine pieces. So it's just, it's really special what we have. And I just want you to know how grateful I am for you. And I am recording this podcast from my parents' house. Um, it has been a real doozy of a moment. My father unexpectedly got rushed to the hospital on Friday and has gone under anesthesia three times since then um, for different procedures and operations. And it's, um, you know, I really wish it didn't take stuff like that to have me really, really reflect on the preciousness of life. But uh, sometimes, admittedly, it does. So, it's been a tender space that I've been in from, you know, canceling and, and rearranging what I could, you know, fulfilling what needed to be fulfilled and then driving back and forth to the hospital and being there and needing to be such an advocate. Um, I'll save my uh, relationship with the uh, American Medical Association <laughs> for another podcast. But the point, the point is, um, you know, sometimes life happens. And for those of us that have aging parents, things come up. And for those of you that have children, things come up. And, you know, I know we're always into like, we create a reality and let's go live our best lives. And, and I believe in all of that. And, and things come up. And so, I think that so oftentimes women get put themselves in this place of not considering yourself in the process. And so whether you've got, you know, an unusual circumstance currently going on in your life, or maybe you have challenging family dynamics as we are approaching Thanksgiving or holidays, or maybe your heart is tender because someone you love isn't with you this year, um, I just want you to know... I'm here for you. It's um, you can send me a DM on Instagram. I don't want you to feel like you're alone. I know so 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 many people that are women that are managing a lot right now, and we're never going to be able to help those we love if we are totally blind and oblivious to our own needs. Also. So particularly if you are got some special circumstances going on with kids, parents, life, whatever it is, I want you to take a breather here and just even breathe deeply with me. And I want you to make sure that you're taking really good care of yourself and not just doing what you think everyone else wants you to do or needs from you right now. There was... Um, for example, so I've been going back and forth and gone and I did grocery shopping for the holidays, which we're super excited about and going to cook a lovely, you know, day's worth of food. Um, and, you know, did that and yet yesterday I had a full day of coaching calls 
And the previous Gina that was like super codependent and was like, oh, like, all right, well, I'm, you know, exhausted because um, it's like my full, full back to back coaching day, which is normally fine because I don't plan anything after that. The, you know, people pleasing Gina would have been like, well, it's only 4.30 or a quarter to five. I can still get to the hospital for visiting hours and let me go see him for a couple of hours. And, um, and I called him instead, you know, rather than taxing my body and making that extra trip. Um, of course he would have loved it and it, he, he was okay. You know, my mom was still there with him and, um, things like this. I just want you to really pay attention to. I was working with an awesome client who's in my own near throne mastermind yesterday and she's like, oh, I got to put together a Black Black Friday special and I don't feel like it and I just wish it was Thanksgiving already. And I said, you're the creator of your life. I said, what good do you think is going to, how many sales do you think are going to come in from like, I don't want to do this energy stuck behind your computer when you just want to like, be smelling pumpkin spice and roaming the aisles of William Sonoma. <laughs> I said, shut your computer down and go. Start Thanksgiving early, you know? And she's like, oh my gosh, I feel amazing. I just felt like I had to do this. And I remember last year I didn't I didn't feel like doing a Black Friday special. So I didn't. Um I just yeah I was so much in that transition of that world in between worlds, but I felt into it. It's like I didn't I just didn't want to. I didn't I want didn't want the flurry of emails. I didn't feel like participating. Didn't have anything on people that were, but I just didn't feel like it. And so I want you to really check in with you and let your yes be yes and your no be no. And and let yourself hear the desires of your heart. And as you check in, like you might like if you ask yourself, what do you want? You might hear to take a nap that's right the laundry can wait you know you might hear like I just need space to myself let the kids go on a play date you know um, though we're gonna have a really lovely Thanksgiving I really pared down the recipes this year um, you know I normally go over 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 the top and I'm like we don't need to do that this year like it, sometimes it's fun this year it wouldn't have been like I just wanted it to be fantastic not you know uh overproduction so I think that there's a place that just so many women are are feeling right now feeling the end of the year approaching feeling the holidays coming up feeling if we're conscious to it the preciousness of life maybe you're feeling pressures in your business or financially money like you're not going to create abundance from stress. So I want you to, I don't know, especially if you're in the United States, listen to this. Thanksgiving is tomorrow. I have a feeling that it's going to be okay. Even if you don't push it, even if you don't answer those next 10 emails or push the what like I don't know I just don't think pushing it is the place that we're meant to experience life from or create from and I may be a little biased right now so you can factor that in for yourself depending on what season of your life you're in um, but I'm in a place of being gentle gentle with myself gentle with my body gentle with my family gentle with how I speak to myself, gentle with what expectations or responsibilities I'm putting on myself. Like I'm just really desiring a, a, a cozy, loving experience over this Thanksgiving holiday. And it does take a, a, a conscious intention because otherwise, you, if you know me at all, you know I can be a very easily, I am an easily excitable person. I can get wound up and ramped up and um, while I'm recording this, you know, Glenn's in the kitchen cooking. I'm going to join him in a bit. I got Christmas music playing. Um, I'm in some comfy cashmere lounge set 
that I love and I'm just letting it be gentle. Um, there's a lot more I could be doing right now, but it's not even what I'm thinking about. I'm, I'm thinking about completing what feels really good to complete and have certain things done. There are a few documents I, I wanted to look at so that that was done and complete. A um, few calls to make, I made those. This is one of the last things that I'm doing because um, I really wanted to, to connect and check in with you. It's, it's been a hot minute and I really, really enjoy um, this journey that we have together that we can experience all these different flavors and, and, and factors of life. Um, I also have been working with a lot of women on relationship dynamics as well. And it's all going to be waiting for you. I would say whatever kind of dynamic you might be in that feels unsettled or you're living in the question or you don't have the clarity you wish you had or you don't have the resolution that you desire, just be right now. If you're with that person, be with the great parts of that person. Be with what does work in the relationship. Be your fabulous self and connect with that person's fabulous self. And if you can't do that, if you're with someone who's that impossible or that whatever, let's remember we do have a choice. And even though it's Thanksgiving, you have a choice to remove yourself or you have a choice to go late and leave early. Um, whatever it is, I want you loving yourself so much. I want you prioritizing you. I want you taking care of you. And I just, I want, you know, when you love yourself so much, you can just feel the stress leave your body. When you are really listening to your desires and what feels good, it very likely is going to be counterintuitive, right? Like if you have a bunch of stuff to do and you're like, what do you want? You like to take a nap? You know, or if you're like, I need to work out, but you feel like ordering a pizza. <laughs> Follow the desires. Because the more that you give to you, you know, desires aren't binges and they're not destruction. They just may be counterintuitive. You know, I don't know if money's tight, but a William sonoma Thanksgiving apron or tea towel is going to brighten your day. Follow the desire. See where it leads you. You know, no one went bankrupt over it and no one's going to, you know, die over it. It's just us learning to listen and to do life differently and to trust that the ways of God, the ways of spirit, not only are they not predictable, it's just nothing like what we've been taught. And we almost feel like we're being, it's like illegal to do something out of the box or that would appear irresponsible or not productive or whatever. Like you don't need to be productive today. You, or any day in particular, I know that's like super illegal to say in the entrepreneurial space. I don't know that focusing on productivity is going to lead you to a life well lived. Focusing on passion Focusing on what lights you up. Focusing on leaning into your desires and really letting your yes be yes and your no be no. Then you don't need to be productive. You're just going to be obsessed with you and your life and what you're involved with. And it's not going to feel like work. Um, I guess, you know, by nature, I'm going to go be productive in the kitchen this afternoon, but it's not coming from that part of my brain. It's coming from a place of play and passion and enjoyment and creativity and sensuality and feeling the food with my hands and smelling the scents and, you know, enjoying the baking of the mile high apple pie I'm about to go bake. Um, it's, it's passion that we're deprived of in modern day life. All of the work, 
productivity, linear, logical, to-do list, task-oriented, money-making, masculine stuff. It's kind of sucked a lot of the enjoyment, the pleasure, the feminine, the freedom, the, the bliss that we are intended to live life with. So being in connection with the divine Remembering that you are loved. Remembering that regardless of your circumstances, that provision is there for you. Regardless of what the external world looks like right now, you are safe. And when we look within, remember the kingdom of heaven is within. Seek first the kingdom of heaven and then all of these things will be added unto you. And so whatever you're seeking, look within today, because it's all there. Your abundance, your safety, your worthiness, your peacefulness, your delight for you and life and the people that you're around, it's all inside of you. Maybe do yourself a favor and scroll less over this weekend, this long weekend, you know, like give your self a break from endless comparison and mindless just natter and spend more time just being sitting in front of a candle with a cup of tea or a I had Glenn make me an eggnog latte today not I did the almond milk one yesterday it was okay but Thankfully, I listened to my intuition when I was at the store. I'm like, I'm going to try the almond milk eggnog because I've never done that before. It doesn't do the job. And uh, once a year, I, I allow myself these little indulgences of uh, the eggnog latte. It's kind of a mood changer for me. It's just, it's just a, a mug of pure enjoyment. So sit there with your eggnog latte and sit or sit in front of a candle or sit with a journal or sit in front of a fireplace go for a walk whatever just feels good to your body i think the more we can get out of our heads out of our minds out of our same thinking you know this if you let this weekend be a pattern interrupt for you everything glorious everything glorious is going to come to you and you know why because your vibe is going to be so high like if you were to shut your computer down and go do whatever brings you joy like literally you are a human magnet so of course like your vibe is going to go up if you're doing things that you love your your frequency raises if you're like surrounding yourself with the 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 pleasure of whatever delights you again you're gonna like i don't know whatever you need but you're gonna call it like you're gonna get an email from that client you know you're that wants to sign up and work with you money's gonna come in in an unexpected way uh, some opportunity is gonna pop like like you can literally bring all of your good to you without needing to like will it in like force it Come from a place of pure attraction and let yourself see what you're actually going to be able to create in your life. Um, it's the feminine way. And the better we get at that, the better we're going to get at receiving, the better life is going to be, and the more we're going to really, really be living our purpose. But I don't know about you, my purpose is not about working all the time or doing things that are really heavy that I don't like you know I mean there's a little bit of okay I'm gonna plow through this you know my writing my book wasn't easy for me but it was a something that I I, I craved and I wanted to do for myself there was a big difference between the challenge of writing a book and the life-sucking act for me to deal with Facebook ads and funnels and all that, you know, internet marketing stuff. 
So you decide what it is for you. Just the more you give yourself permission to do you. I love my friend Ashley Stahl. I'm so grateful for her. And she says, who you are always wins. So you do you this weekend. Just notice and see what happens. And then you got to promise me you're either going to screenshot this episode and tell me what the, oh my God, Jeannie, you're never going to believe this thing that happened or shift that was created inside of you or DM me privately, whatever it is. But let's just do an experiment, shall we? Over this next sort of long weekend and holiday, what if you only let your yes be yes and your no be no? What if you only did exactly what you wanted? If you wanted to sleep in later, then you slept in later. If you wanted to take a longer bath or shower, then that's what you did. If you wanted to, I don't know, maybe baking isn't your thing. Maybe if you like don't want to bake the pie and you want to go pick it up, whatever it is. What if you just did life actually by design over this next handful of days? Let's see what happens. I think that could be really, really cool. Really, really, I don't know. I, I've been inspired to do it myself. So I was kind of on that path, but now I'm super conscious to it. So, well, I'll let you know what happens for me when it's letting my yes be yes and no be no. And I want you to really be there for yourself. You know, there was something that um, I wanted to complete just because I, I wanted it done and I wanted the energy in motion today before the holiday. And I was like, hey, Glenn, let's because it involves both of us. I was like, let's do it. And he was like, no, I'm not dealing with it until Monday. And normally I would have just been like, okay, but it wasn't my yes. And so we sat down and I was like, babe, are you available to hear from me? Sure. He says, and I said, it would really mean a lot to me if we could put this in motion, right? Cause that's going to actually have me think about it all weekend that it's not my, my portion of this isn't completed in this project. And he goes, fine. See, it wasn't up to him to get me what I wanted. It was up to me to be there for me. He, would, he said what he wanted to do. And that was fine for him. But it, it wasn't for me. And so rather than self-abandoning or going invisible or just saying he's probably right, I just checked in and it, like it felt good to me. And it wasn't a big deal to him one way or another. He just didn't want to deal with it. But I did. It was like it was a joy. It was a choice for me. So these types of things, just play around with being visible to yourself, which may require being visible to others. Um and just see what happens and report back. Deal? Does that sound good? All right, my love. Well, in terms of the spirit of taking care of you, uh, I am participating in Black Friday this year, and I want you to know what I've got going on, and if this is going to really support you, then I want you to jump in on it. So my signature program, the Divine Living Academy, so for all of you who have been in the Divine Living Academy, either live or online, I've got a super juicy, excitement, exciting opportunity for you. I have just been noticing uh, in some of my classes that are focused on spirituality, femininity, personal development, the business questions are oozing through. And um, that's not my focus and own your throne, however, I felt like, you know what, I'm going to temporarily, super short term, relaunch and reopen the Divine Living Academy at online for 50% off, and I'm going to add live calls to it. So the good news for all of you who have been in the Divine Living Academy, um, either online or live, you're going to get all of these live calls for free. That's right, for free. So check your emails. And if you uh, haven't gotten an email, because there's been some email deliverability issues lately, uh, DM me on Instagram or write in my team at questions at Divine Living and give us your email and we will make sure that you get in on the goodness. And for those of you 
that have not joined the Divine Living Academy or gotten a look at it, um, this is your lucky weekend. Uh, definitely click on the link in the show notes and you are going to be amazed. It's half off. There's a stretched out payment plan. It is literally the, the most divine business creation program, coaching modules and segments. You don't have to be a coach. It's for graphic designers, yoga teachers, pretty much anyone in a service-based industry. And it has, you'll see all the stuff that's in there, but it's, it's, it's everything from wealth consciousness to marketing modules, to social media stuff, to pricing packages. For those of you that are coaches of any kind, there's coaching demonstrations. And so if you want to be in my world and my vortex in my, my coaching energy for this only through black, you know, what's open now through Cyber Monday, get in on this and then you'll get the call schedule. And I'm going to be doing live coaching calls December, I think January, February, and March, um, specifically to answer your business questions. So I, I feel very, very blessed to be so clear about the direction that I'm meant to go in with all of the spiritual and the own your throne pieces. Um, and I'm able to do that because I know how to build a business. Uh, I know how to build a brand and I know how to have a profitable business, whether I'm doing marriage coaching, whether I'm doing nuts and bolts business coaching, whether I'm teaching spirituality. So whatever it is you are looking to just thrive with in your life, if you want to get out of a corporate job, if you want to get your business off the ground, take advantage of this special. I've never done this before. It's, I mean, it's 50% off. What else do you want me to say? Um, so get in on it. Links are in the show notes. Um, and there is that. So with that, my darlings, very happy Thanksgiving Eve to those of you here in the United States. For those of you globally, I love you as well. I'm thankful for all of you. And let's close this out with a prayer. Ah, dear God, thank you. Thank you for our lives. Thank you for this beautiful season. Thank you for this conclusionary time in the year. May we all focus on what we are thankful for, what we are grateful for. And let us start with being thankful to be alive and grateful that you have created us exactly as we are. May we see the beauty in ourselves. May we see the beauty in others. May we let our light shine and that the warmth of that shine would spill on to others who need the warmth, the light, the love, the peace, the encouragement. For all of those hurting at this moment, let them remember that Everything is inside of each and every one of us because that's where you live. May we remember to look within. May we remember to ask for a miracle. May we stand in our worthiness. And for all of this, we are so grateful. Amen. Amen, amen. All right, my darlings, have a beautiful one. And until next time.